What's up everybody? It's your girl Tyra and I'm coming back at you again with Vlogmas Day 7. apologize but it is actually nighttime um everybody is already asleep and i have literally been in the kitchen slaving away since early this morning so i apologize for not being able to vlog all day but my day has pretty much been the same all day um for those of you who don't know um i'm a chef i went to culinary school back in 2016 and I started a business called Tyra Stacey Treats in 2010. And every year for Christmas, I come home and I make this Christmas menu and I do these cookie platters and these pies and these cakes and all this. And I end up staying up to the wee wee hours of the morning, cooking and baking for three days straight. It's the most stressful time of year for me, but your girl make some money. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm actually almost done with everything that I want to get done today. Just so y'all can see what I've been doing. Let me roll that footage. So here are all the like the orders and stuff that I have finished today. These are like my leftovers that I'm going to use for a party. I made this rum cake right here, which is bomb. I used Captain Morgan rum. I have an ooey gooey cake right here. Y'all, if you don't know what ooey gooey cake is, you need to get you some it's called an ooey gooey butter cake and i personally believe that my daddy makes the best one google ooey gooey cake and find a recipe and make it basically an ooey gooey cake is like a vanilla brownie with a cooked topping type thing it's really hard to explain you really just gotta have it i also made some praline brownies so on the top is like this praline frosting that i made using heavy cream and brown sugar and under the bottom is just some regular brownie in these right here this is like my puck on candy that i made this one has nuts but there's this other lady that always orders puck on candy with no nuts from me and i got these cute tins from the dollar tree i always get these to put like my candies and stuff like that in they're super duper cute and they're only a dollar my world famous buttermilk pie for someone buttermilk pie if you've never had buttermilk pie it's literally like a pie that's made with buttermilk sugar and eggs and just cooked down so it's a custard pie and it's really really good I know some of y'all might be looking at this like, Tyra, ain't you vegan? Well, I am not vegan. I am plant-based, so there is a difference. It's a very slight difference. I used to call myself vegan, but then people started coming for me because I was doing stuff that apparently wasn't vegan. So I'm plant-based. I'm not about to take on that title of being vegan, but 
I'm not eating any of this stuff that I'm baking. I've just had this business since 2010 and I have a lot of regular customers that look forward to Tyra's Tasty Christmas. Bad news is this is my last year doing it so it's kind of like a bittersweet moment for me but I will still have Tyra Stacey treats. I just want to move away from doing cakes, pies, cookies and stuff like that. But yeah man like I started this business when I was in the 10th grade so I'm here to tell you guys if you have an idea or you want to be an entrepreneur definitely go for it no matter how big how small whatever it is if you have an idea just spring into action because you never know where it can take you this business gave me a scholarship that helped put me through college so I'm really grateful for Tyra Stacy treats and just putting myself out there I started out by selling I had a menu with two things on it I was selling Oreo balls and chocolate dip pretzels and y'all business was booming I would literally have like these big black bags and I would just walk around school carrying everybody's orders so I'm really excited um, that my business has grown I'm actually almost done. I'm waiting for my cookies to come out of the oven and I'm going to plate them up all nicely to make some cookie platters and I have to deliver those early in the morning. It's currently 11.50 and uh, which means it's almost Vlogmas Day 8. But if you have not seen, if you have not seen Vlogmas Day 6, please go watch that video because I know some of y'all gonna be mad at me if y'all have not seen that video because there is some pertinent information in there and and your girl got a giveaway so make sure you go and check that out make sure you go to the description box underneath that video to enter my giveaway because i'm so excited it's my 1k giveaway some people may not think that's a huge thing but it's my first milestone and i'm super happy about it um, but other than that this is really <laughs> all i got for y'all today after all of this is over. I promise I'm going to update you guys and have some very fun videos for y'all coming up. So thank you guys so much for watching. In the comments below, please let me know what you would like to see on my channel. Well, actually, some of you may not know this, but I actually have a cooking segment on my channel that I haven't really been posting to lately. But if you guys would like to see any of these recipes or anything like that on my cooking segment, let me know in the comments. My cooking segment is What's Cooking with Tired of Creative? And I just do all kinds of recipes on there. The last one I did was beignets with Ravel Chic. So go and check that video out and also go check out her channel. And yeah. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell to make sure you get all of the alerts anytime your girl posts any new content. <laughs> Thank y'all so much for watching. And I'm going to see y'all literally like in a few hours. 